on walking back to BA GM mode in NHL 20 with the Edmonton Oilers year number two Western Conference Finals versus the Winnipeg Jets. Um, I did last video, I did uh, our record through the regular season against the Ducks. I didn't do it for this one, but I'll do a quick look. Uh, no Winnipeg. Two up. Um, didn't play Winnipeg there. Didn't play in there. So, uh, on the 14th, we beat them. On the 20th, they beat us, so it's one and one. November. And October. So, during the regular season, we were two and one against the Jets. They were one and two against us, so that's kind of cool to see. Considering they're 51, 24, and 7, uh, they turn it on after they face off pro us, probably. So, this is going to be a tough. Uh, let's go through their lines again real quick before we start their games. Um, they have the 93 offense to our 90, the 90 defense to our 88, and the 88 goaltending to our 84. So, it's going to be a little bit of a rough series, um, but I think we have a good shot. Because we have Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. So, those are two positive notes. Uh, Patrick Line and Mark Scheifele, uh, Blake Wheeler, are their, is their top line. And Patrick Line is coming back from an injury, so he may not be 100%, and we may be able to take advantage of that and get a quick two, uh, one or two great game lead that we can use to our advantage. Uh, Connor Appleton Ehlers is the second line. Perlote, I always pronounce his name wrong. Sorry, Lowry and Simmons is the third line. Vistlining, I don't know how to pronounce that name either. Losovic and Little is their third line, which Brian Little on your third on your fourth line is insane. Uh, Jack Losovic, Wayne Simmons, and, uh, oh never mind, Appleton right here. The second line center is an 80. I didn't see him. I was gonna say these three were the lowest overall that I saw, but then I found Appleton at 80. So the lowest is 80. Ah, that's rough. Um, Bufflin, Morrissey, Niku, Ponyak, Bellew, and Colaville. Colaville, I don't know. Uh, or there is their defense, which is insane, and Hellebuck in that. So, this is going to be a rough series. Uh, Hellebuck's in 83, so already at a disadvantage there. Uh, we have Mikhail Gr Marcus Granlin, not Mikhail, uh, at a 76. Modri at a 78, Mardu, I don't know, and Nygaard at a 79, Jericho at a 78, Gergensen at a 79. So they are the better people, but we have McDavid, we have Drysaddle, Yamamoto who grew, that's exciting to see. Athenasi who was really high up there, 87. Olofsson who could score goals, who plays really well with McDavid, and McDavid. I don't know how their line chemistry works out, but our McDavid is not a 96. He is a 101 overall. I don't know how exactly that works with the game, but that's pretty good. So hopefully we can use that type of stuff to our advantage and we can get this series and move on to the Stanley Cup Finals. All right. First period, boom. All right, Kyle Connor and Vaseline. Yep, I told. I figured they were gonna come out. <laughs> we had three, three shots. We had one more shot in that period than they had goals. That is not good enough, Edmonton. We gotta do better. Second period. Fifteen shots is better, but you didn't score any goals. Let's go to the third period. Come on, power play needs to come big. We need McDavid and Drysaddle to carry us through this series. They're going to be the reason we win or lose. Power play can't do anything. Their defense is locking down. Hullabuck is stopping everything. Niku gets a goal, goal making a 3-0 Winnipeg. And looks like Winnipeg is going to hang on for the, yep, 3-0 victory. Cannot beat Connor Hullabuck. Oh! Well, maybe that explains why we're going to have a lot of shots. Roughing, hooking, holding, tripping, bam, bam, bam. Although all of that was killed off, which is amazing by our kill. Um, we had one power play there in the second. 
and one in the third. And so total of two power plays. We, uh, we got to score on those two. Uh, Hullabuck, Connor, Ehlers are the three stars. Already off to a, not the greatest start. But Winnipeg is really good, so... <sighs> Gonna be a fight. Let's see if we can do it. Second, my first, second, I don't know what I'm saying, second game. <sighs> Here we go. First period. Boom. <sighs> Rosalick scores for them. Bouchard and Marjorie score for us. The depth coming through, something I did not see coming. Uh, nine shots, still not the greatest, but it's better than three. All right, second period, keep it up, Edmonton. Blake Wheeler turns it on, they score. All right, another nine shots in the second period. Nine shots a period for us is not good. We are not a defensive strong team. We're not the Anaheim Ducks we placed last series, where you get the two goal, the one goal lead, the two goal lead, and you just lock it down, and you're fine, only take a bunch of shots. We need to generate shots, so. If they could figure out a way to do that, that'd be great. It starts their period. Come on, they're just shooting the puck everywhere. Winnipeg is at least. Oh, power play, come on, power play. 5 on 3 power play. Athens to see you. There we go. All right, come on. Play smart. Good job, guys. Darnell Nurse scores for us, taking game number two. Four to two in Winnipeg. Uh, Roswick scored uh, high sticking and Richard on power play. There you go. That's what we need is that power play to work. Uh, Marjorie, second class for Marjorie. That's good. Wheeler, okay. Then Shifley and Morrissey went to the box. And good on Athens to see you. You have to score there. And that's his first of the playoffs, which is amazing. If those two guys are in the box, score a goal. Allmark, Rosalvik, Cassian. Cassian is the third star. All right. All right. So let's go to game number three. Here we go. First period. Yes! Connor McDavid, Evan Richard, Victor Olofsson. Boom, boom, boom. To have a 3-0 lead. 13 shots in the period. That is what we need. About there, that's where I want my minimum to be. Is 13 shots a period. That's how we're going to win this series. It's playing more time in the Winnipeg zone than they play in ours. Because they can turn it on like that. Alright. Second period. McDavid. Marjorie with the second of the series. Jerko making it 6-0 Edmonton. 10 shots of that period. Not as good, but three goals having a 6-0 lead. Start up the third period. This game should be ours. Come on, kill it off. Kill it. Good kill there, guys. I don't want to give Winnipeg any life, but then Wheeler scores. All right, that's fine. Still have the five goal lead. With 10 minutes left. Just lock this down. You'll be fine. Come on, power play, power play. I, want the, oh, I really want the power play to stay working. But they'll hold it together and in Edmonton will take a 2-1 to one series lead with a 6-1 victory over Winnipeg. McDavid, boom. Broussard, boom. Cross-tracking, kill it off for a little bit until Morrissey gets goaltender interference. How a defenseman gets goaltender interference, I don't know what he was doing up there. But whatever because he's on the power play also. He should be at the point, quarterback in the power play, not in front of the net. Then Olsen scores. Wheeler goes to the box. Boom, McDavid scores. Uh, Marjorie, Marjorie and Gergesen go both go to the box, and those are two of our penalty killers, and we killed off the five on three. Uh, Marjorie gets the goal. Jerko gets the goal. Granlin goes to the box. Wheeler scores a little bit later, and Niku gets that final penalty. That was a big game for us. McDavid, Olofsson, Allmark are the three stars of the game. Three point came for Connor McDavid. That's what I would expect from McDavid. All right. Watson. All right, second 
No, I don't know why I keep trying to say second period. For game number four, first period. Leon Dreisaitl gets two in the period, but Patrick Vine in the middle of that cut the lead. So heading into the second period, we have a two goal lead. This is what we need. We need Dreisaitl to step up. McDavid's been carrying his weight, especially that last game where he had a three point game. But we need Dreisaitl to do something as well. Because if they start shutting down McDavid, we have Dreisaitl there. And he, when he has his opportunities, he needs to score. And did he really score 21 seconds into the game from there? Hella buck. Come on, buddy. You can't do that. You gotta stop that one. Second period. Oh my god. Chase on scores. Dry Sato gets the hat trick. Athanasiu scores. Chasing Hellebuck. Dell comes in. Yamamoto scores. Athanasiu gets the second of the game and period. Athanasiu, Yamamoto, and Athanasiu's second goal all were on the power play. They were really close together, so I'm assuming something happened. Can I see penalties from here? Blake Wheeler double minor for high staking. Out of minor for interference. And that's where it started. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. And look how close these goals are. Four of them are basically in the crease and one's off to the side. That is what we have to do. We had 19 shots in the first period. I saw that as soon as I hit A. I was going to point that out. And then 36 total for the game through two periods. This is the Edmonton I know. This is the Edmonton I helped build. It shoots the puck a bunch. Dreisaitl with the hat trick. That's beautiful. That first line has Dreisaitl. I don't know about assists, but goal-wise. In that period, the first line had four goals. And then in the first period, that first line had two goals. So in a seven goal game, the first line has six of them. And the Conor McDavid isn't playing on the first line. Although technically the, he's playing on a power play unit. So I'm sure he factored, factored in there somehow, but still. Oh, that's big. Although in this situation though, you know you have some penalty kill time. Yeah, Hellebuck's not giving up five and there's some power play time left, why would you pull him in the middle of it? Because now Dell's coming in cold with Edmonton's powerhouse of a power play. Why, you're just throwing him to the wolves. And it, clearly it worked out for us, we got two goals. That was a bad call on their coach. He should've waited till the power play was over to pull Hullabuck. That's what I would've done. But whatever, start the third period. Pionk scores right away. But Athens CU completes his hat trick. <laughs> Holy crap, dual hat tricks. Shy Fee scores making it 8 3. Uh, he scored short handed. What is this game? Connor McDavid finally shows up. Wayne Simmons scores 9 4. What? <laughs> Come on, get 10. Come on, get 10. You can do it, Edmonton. Oh. Either scores making it 5 9. Darn. That was a crazy game. All right, that's gonna be a lot of events. Yep, Dreisaitl scored 21 seconds in the game. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh... Yeah, Wheeler went to the box. Athanasio scored, getting one of his minors. Now it's a 5 on 3. Yeah, Yamamoto scored. Bam, getting rid of uh, second of Blake Wheeler's minors. Lowry's on the box. Athanasio scored. Bam. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was wicked. Alright, I want to see how many... I think there's two hat tricks. Yeah, Athens and Dreisada both got hat tricks. Both had five point games. Wow. Athens see you, Dreisada, Yamamoto. Already three stars. That top line just unreal. Although I want to know how Athens you got the first star over Dry Saddle. Is it because he threw more hits? Because they both had a five point game, and to me, I would have given Dry Saddle the number one star. His three goals were at regulation, and they had a time that mattered more. I don't know. 
But Edmonton Oilers have a 3-1 series lead heading to Winnipeg. They have kicked the Winnipeg Winnipeg Jets asses the past couple of games. So, oh, 19 points in 15 games for Connor McDavid. <laughs> he is so good. Oh. All right. First period of game number five. Wow, a surprising 0-0 period. We have not had a lot of those. Uh, second period. Shifley and Line score, but Athens CU scores back for us, cutting the lead in half. All right, not as crazy as last game, but let's start the third period, see if Edmonton can pull this out. Power play for Winnipeg, but Edmonton kills it off. All right, come on. I mean, how fast leaning scores, okay. So it's two goal deficit. Another power play for Winnipeg. Quick, give them power plays. And uh, Winnipeg will force a game at number six. Tripping on Nurse. Shifley, dry solid goes to the box. And a couple minutes, seconds after he gets out, line a bam. Okay. This has been a crazy series. I've never seen a series like this. Shifley, Hellebuck, Line 8 are your three stars. <sighs> uh, yeah, similar to the day. Uh, don't care about the draft class right now. Bigger concerns. But if we look at it here, so we won at home. We won the series at home. That's good. Uh, really, we were at Chicago. I thought we were in home at home. I don't know because we won in six. That's right. Never mind. I'll just be like, of course we had to lose game five because we could only win the series at home. But we did the win up the Chicago one on the road. That's fine. Oh yeah, and I kept was like, why are you guys cheering? Because we got missed empty nets. I'm like, we're advancing, you're not. And everybody was in the arena cheering after the game was over. Anyways, first period of game number six. Athens CU, who's been a beast in this series, scored, making it 1 0, 12 shots in the first period. Really good to see. <sighs> Second period. All right, a lot to break down here. Vaselini scores for them. Granlin scores for us. And then I think Steve scores again, giving us a 3 1 lead. Line A Bufflin, Line A score, making it 4 3 Winnipeg. All right. Start of the third period. Come on, Edmonton. You can dig out of this. One goal deficit. Let's get it back. Lowry scores. Come on. Where was this effort? You gave up. You scored nine goals in a game. Why can't you score any now? Chase on scores, boom, after the penalty kill. Don't give him another power play. Thank you for killing this stuff off. Bill you scores for them. Oh my god, is Winnipeg going to force? They are going to force a game seven. This series has been nuts. Shively's in the box for a double minor for high staking. Again, you got to score. Oh my gosh. And then Kyle Connor's in the box, so the two of them blocked for basically two minutes. You had a five on three. You have to score. I think to see you, who had zero goals going into this series, now has seven. He's had a series. Oh, he didn't want one seven. He got two goals at the series. I don't know how many he has now. Line A, Lowry, Athens, CU are the three stars. How many goals did he get? How many did he get now? Edmonton, Athens, CU, seven. Where's the second one? Oh, it's up there. The first goal of the game, of course. I would... Just glance right over that. He is at seven. All right. Game number seven in Winnipeg for the right to play the Buffalo Sabres in the Stanley Cup Finals. 
who will play Buffalo. We have some storylines with Buffalo, so that'd be a good little thing to have. Will it be S or Winnipeg? First period. Oh, Patrick Liney scores for them. Come on, 12 shots is good. Second period. Yes! Dry saddle. Bouchard score for us. Shafley scores for them. 2 2 game going to the third period. Why do they score almost immediately when I start the third period? Lowry scores and then Shifley scores. Now either scores. Now it's 5 2. Oh my gosh. Lowry scores again. This time I'm costing it. Immediately pulled Olmark. 6 2. It looks like it's going to be Winnipeg. Connor McDavid with the power play goal. Beautiful. Man, it sucks to see. We had such a great series. But we just didn't have that little bit of extra to get it through. I think, had we had James Neal, I think that series is ours. Patrick Lyon, they scored. Okay, Dry Sale scored 51 seconds into the second period. That's beautiful. Uh, and Shifley scored. Nurse goes to the box. Burchard scores. We took too many penalties. I think that was our problem. A lot of the, I noticed on the ones we lost, we were taking a bunch of penalties. The ones we won, we did it. I think if we stayed on the box, we would have been much better. Ten seconds in the dry side was hooking penalty shy if we bam. And then right there, that last event of the game. Double minor to Adam Larson for high sticking. You keep your stick down, Larson. Shifley, Lowry, and Ehlers are the three stars, and the Winnipeg Jets will advance to the Stanley Cup Finals to play Buffalo. Oh, fancy day, whatever. I'm going to look at the stats, and then I'm going to bring it up to the draft, because why not? There's nothing else really going on. So we'll find out who won the Stanley Cup in this video. Uh, team stats. Okay. Edmonton. In the playoffs, our power play was 32.6%. That's lovely to see. And our penalty kill was 90%. We had the best penalty kill of somebody that advanced. Vegas didn't advance. The Flyers played seven, so they didn't advance. Boston didn't advance. Chicago didn't advance. We had the best penalty kill of a team that advanced to the second round. We had the best power play, period. So we were heavily relying on specialty teams. They just couldn't come through. Connor McDavid had 20 points in 18 games in the playoffs. Drysdale had 18 and 18. Yakimoto, Yamamoto, not Yakimoto. Yamamoto had 17 points. Did he? Just the one overall, darn. Athenasio had 15, Olison had 15, Chase on had 12, Jones had 10. Let me take a look at the defenseman. Broussard had 7, 4 of which were goals. Bear had 6, Nurse 4, Benning 2, Larson only had the 1. But he's more of a defensive guy, so it's okay. A 9.07 for Allmark, a 3.2 goals against average for him. And then an 888 save percentage. And the one, yeah, I'm not counting Kaskin. He played half of a game. <sighs> All right. Well, let's take it up to the draft and see who wins the Stanley Cup. Uh, okay. Blues fired their head coach. I like our guy right now. Buffalo wins, and the Toronto Marlies win a Calder Cup. All right, so let's take a quick look at some awards and we'll end the video. So Tampa Bay, oh God, Tampa Bay moves up the spot. Of course, they get better. Second overall pick via LA, awesome. The Islanders, we go third. Detroit drops all the way back from first to fourth. Washington, Vancouver, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so because LA really wanted Jesse Poolhart and we went, fine and we collected our first for him we get to pick second overall oh so not worth it la let's see who retired anybody from edmonton here all right 
Marlo, Spezza, uh, let's just do it by games play, yeah. Marlo, Spezza, Fnuff, Zajac, uh, Kessler, Bacchus, Moore, Stanford, Thompson, Polak, oh, you are, Nathan Horn, contract finally runs out. Um, Clark MacArthur, wow. All right, that's all, really. Um, and then goalies, oops, that's a fenceman. Corlys. Schneider finally retired. Not finally. Not, he just retires. He's 35. Not that old. Um, I don't think I see anything from us. I mean, we weren't that old. All skaters. Thank you. Yeah, we weren't that old. And then, just curious. No. Yeah, they're young as well, so. Um, following coaches have retired. We are looking for... Nothing from Edmonton and nothing from Bakersfield. Perfect. We may have to sign, give new coaches contracts and stuff, but we don't have to worry about anyone that quit. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the draft class because we're picking number two overall. Um, so left wing, left wing, center, which you never know. So the scouts are telling us this guy right here. Or this guy right here. So they're saying we're one of the two centers. Alright, and then just curious. Anybody on the bust? Gem or bust category. So a bunch of bust. Even though the scout's telling me to take the guy for whenever that pick is. Is a bust. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. And... Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'll make sure about going between videos. And we are at the draft. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. I know that was kind of a weird... Oh, awards. <laughs> uh, the Buffalo Sabres won the cup. Uh, President's Trophy was in the Maple Leafs. Winnipeg Jets were the Kansas Campbell. Buffalo was Prince of Wales. Okay, individual awards. Art Ross, Leon Dreisaitl. Hart went to McKinnon. Norris Carlson, who can't turn left, but okay. Lady Bing, McKinnon, Calder, Cousins, Con Smythe, Eichel. Well, yeah, it's Eichel. Vesna, Frederick Anderson, William Jennings Anderson, Bill Masterson, Yamath, Jack Adams goes to, uh, to Chicago. Selkie goes to Couturier. Ted Lindsay goes to McKinnon. Marisa Chardy goes to Matthews. All right, uh, I feel like this should have been McDavid. The award to the NHL's most outstanding player as selected by members of the National Hockey League's Player Association. The only reason he didn't win it in the last year in real life, which is the Kucherov one, is because Kucherov was unreal that year. That was the year that Tampa Bay won 62 games. Any other year... Connor McDavid wins this award. This is basically his award because he is the best player. No, don't get me wrong. Nathan McKinnon is incredible, but it's Connor McDavid. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Till next time when we play, when we do the draft and we pick number two overall. Thank you, Jesse Poole Harvey and LA Kings. I will see you later.